Ken told me a funny story this morning. He said that um, people are coming ahead of time before we opened the gates. We started opening the gates at just um, 6.30. And one guy was out here waxing his car. And so now that we have the security that they're asking us to have and the gates all the way around the property. How are you doing? Good morning. Um, we're having a time to open the gates so that we can have it. And I guess that makes logic that we would do it. Ken was just opening when he got here at around 5 or 5.30, whatever time Ken gets here. And so now we're having a starting time for the gates. And since we've kind of been down on volunteers lately on helping, I thought I would do the video ahead of time this morning as opposed to at 8. How's it going? All right. Good. Um, so even though we don't start for another 30 minutes... I thought I'd give a walk through now, and that way maybe I can be some help on the handing out. How you doing, guys? So, most of these folks have been in line for quite a while. And, I'll, morning. I'll show you what kind of food we've got today, and all of those good things. And good morning, folks. So, morning. I've told you about those big containers up there. That's We get food from a place, a food rescue place, that they refill those for us. So that's always a good thing. It's one of the biggest pain in the neck sorting those things. Hi, Pop. How you doing, guy? You going to bite the preacher today? How's it going? Everything okay? Here's Mary up here taking everything. Mary fell and injured herself, so she's having to do all of this. Hey, what if you buy the angels? Oh, yeah, wouldn't that be nice? I hear they're going to sell it for like $2 billion or $3 going to make a billion dollars on that. I'm hoping it goes to Long Beach. Wouldn't that be nice right there on the water in Long Beach? The Long Beach, Los Angeles Angels in Long Beach. That would be great. Oh, su español es muy bueno, sí. <laughs> How's it going, man? Things okay? Oh, yeah. Good. Hi, you guys. Everything all right? Good. Look at she said hi, honey. Did you hear that hi, honey? <laughs> My wife didn't even say that to me this morning. Yeah. She, hmm? I said she almost ran you over. Before. She did almost run me over. Yeah, I caught it on the backside. <laughs> Watch out, girl. And we have got great food today. Look, there's Josh over there. Josh, he's competing with Pastor Ken for the inventory guy these days. Ken's the inventory. What is this? Oh, butternut squash risotto. Did you try any of that, Josh? <laughs> Let's see. We've got Reams Homestyle Egg Noodles. That all looks good. Oh, lactose-free whole milk. How do they make milk without lactose? Calafia Farms, or Calafia, however you say that. Um, lemonade. And there's whole milk. I guess this is lactose in it, whole milk over there. We have got the most uncrustables, the most interesting collection of stuff today. Look at that. Cold brew coffee. Palm antioxidant super tea. Pomegranate lemonade tea. Josh, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. You know, that needs to be given a try by one of us. Look at a creamer. And here are the baskets that our faithful team packed yesterday. Ken said we've almost emptied out one of our storage rooms. For He said it's a good thing we've been searching. Look at all these pickles. 80-ounce containers of Klassen kosher dill. And all of, that's an entire pallet of pickles. That was just donated to us yesterday. So that's cool. Um, all of this stuff. Food, food, food. If you need organic yellow sweet corn, doesn't that look good? Man, that would be good in salsa. That would be so good in salsa. If you need food at your household, come out and get some food. Are they welcome, Josh? Welcome. Everybody's welcome. You heard that? It doesn't matter what your faith is. It doesn't matter what your background is. As long as you are hungry. If you are hungry, if you know someone who's hungry, come on out and get some food today. 
Don't mess around. Don't miss your blessing. Josh works hard all week. It is rare that I ever hear that Josh said no, and I heard that he got a call for a donation last week, and he had to say, oh, I've got another appointment. <laughs> he had to say no, and that is so rare. When I am not around here, Josh is out getting food and stuff, so that is awesome. He and his dad, they're the dynamic duo these days. Here's our walk-up line over here. For the, never seen our walk-up line over here. This is how we roll it in over here. We miss you, Ron. If you're watching this right now, we miss you so much, Ron, filling everything in. And can you get better, Ron and Patty? Um, forklift, all that kind of stuff. I'm taking this early because I've got a dollar that says Josh is going to say, we need you on the line to work today. So I'm going to go on and I'm going to upload this and then I'll be back out here. My job is normally just praying and saying, great job, you guys until they have days like today. So we need you out here volunteering. Come on out, volunteer, save this old guy's back. Here comes Pastor Ken, who's almost as old as me. His birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday, Pastor Ken. Thanks for all the work you do.